here is my experiment with the uh, air driven water pump. It's based off of one that I can't remember the name of it, but a guy in Australia invented it. Um, this is used for like shallow wells. I think even some deep wells, but the pressure requirements are a lot higher. This is just a fish tank. That would be the bubbler tube normally. Um, right up top here is the tube that the air gets fed in. And about a little over halfway down is another tube where the water comes in. The whole top of it is sealed off with a big blob of hot glue. Uh, the line where the water comes out is up here on a glass. You can see it's higher than the fish tank. Um, I need some more tubing to see just how, what kind of rise I can get out of this pump. Um, this is a little bitty, uh, if you can read that, it's just a aquarium air pump. Um, it's continuous. Inside is a rock, and down at the bottom, um, I glued in a, it's a small piece of plastic with a round hole, and then that is a yellow ball that's about equally a, just a little bit heavier than water. Um, I'll hook the line up to the pump. You can watch the water come down. As the pressure inside the tube increases, it pushes the water up the tube. It moves pretty quick, so it's kind of hard to see. And you can see the ball hop up each time as more water comes into the tube. Water falls up into the glass here. The idea of the ball in the bottom is that with a lot higher rise, um, with the tube coming out of the, the pump assembly, uh, that water line is going to drop farther down. And uh, once it reaches a, enough pressure, the ball will seat up against the seal at the bottom. And then the additional air pressure, just not from the, the water dropping, will push the water up the tube. I believe in uh, the original pump, the the ball, the balls that they use in it um, actually float, and uh, and once the ball drops all the way down to its seat, then it seals up the hole. But already, I believe that's a nine ounce glass, and it's about three quarter of the way full. I haven't timed it yet to find out what kind of uh, output it's putting out. i probably have to say with judging how far the water is moving there each time, it's probably an ounce every five to eight seconds. Well, there you go. That's uh, my air-driven water pump. Just wanted to try it out.